we're given the following repeated triple integral. We're asked to evaluate it and to interpret it as a, the, our answer as a volume. Okay, so let's, um, let's just work our way through that and I'll explain as we go. So I'm going to let I be the value of this triple integral. Okay. Now, the first thing we want to do is evaluate it and then interpret the answer. Well, actually, I think I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to interpret I as a volume and then I'll, I'll work out the, the whatever I is. Okay? So, let's have a look at our repeated integral. The Z is between 0 and 1 minus X minus Y. Okay? Now that's two surfaces. This top one's going to be a plane and the bottom one's going to be a plane. So just the XY um, coordinate plane. Y will be between this function of X, just the, the zero function, and this function of X. This is just going to be a, stra a straight line. <clears throat> and then X is going to be between two parallel lines. X is going to be between zero and one. So, I'm actually going to sketch the region in first. So, uh, okay, so here are my axes. Now, <clears throat> x is between 0 and 1, so let's just, I don't know, mark the line 0, x, uh, x equals 0, and the line um, x equals 1 here. Now, y is between 0 and 1 minus x. Now, if I sketch that in the xy plane, uh, sorry, y equals, I'll get something like that. Now, what about the plane, the, 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 the two planes that bound the z sort of um, point, uh, variable? Well, z e the plane z equals 0 is just the xy plane, right? Now, the plane z equals 1 minus x minus y, well, that's a little bit trickier to draw. But <clears throat> if you compare this with this, right, basically this and this is just the same um, um, when y equals 0, right? you know that this plane has to cut the xy plane along this line. Okay? And you can actually go and work out the other cuts to the other coordinate planes. Now, when x and y are both 0, this is going to be 1. Now, if I combine that, I'm going to get something like this. Okay, so this would be the line when y, so go up here, set in, um, uh, yes, if I, set, if I set the y equal to 0 up here, I'll get 1 minus x, so this is going to be the line, something like z equals 1 minus x, something like that, and I can get the equation of the other line if I really want to. Now, this kind of solid, anybody know the name? Tetrahedron. Tetrahedron. So you can think of this solid as being bounded below by the xy plane, bounded on this side by um, this xz plane, on this side by this yz plane, and above by the plane z equals 1 minus x minus y. <clears throat> so let's call the solid, say, S. Above, it's bounded above by z equals this. Bounded below by this. 
and on the other sides by the, uh, I guess, the coordinate axes, right? Uh, the coordinate planes. So, what is I here? Let's interpret it as a volume. I is just the volume of that tetrahedron. Okay? So... Let's actually go through and work out the integral. It's set up nicely for us. We didn't really have to draw a picture, but it is, it is important to you know, get some spatial awareness. Okay, so this is the same type of evaluation as you saw with other integrals. You just do the inside integral first, so I'm integrating everything with respect to z, then move on to the next integral, then move on to the next integral. So the inside integral, we're integrating 1 with respect to z. That'll give me z. When I plug in this and this, I'll get the following. Okay, so I integrate that, I'll get z. Then I sub in my limits of integration, I'll get this. Okay, not too shabby. So now I want to just do the inside integral in my bottom line. So I want to hold all the x's constant and integrate with respect to y. So this is going to become y, this will become minus xy, and this will become minus a half y squared. So now I'm going to sub in my limits of integration. So I'm going to get, well, when I sub in y equals 0, all the terms are going to be 0. Okay? And now I can just clean this up with a little bit of algebra. I can factor these, um, this, these terms in this term. So I'll get down to something like this. So... I've got a common factor of 1 minus x in both of these terms. So when I take out the, uh, when I factorise, I'll get this. So now I can just simplify nicely. Okay, I can integrate 1 minus x all squared. <clears throat> Well, what's it going to be? Well, this is this power is going to go to a 3. And then all I need to do is touch up something around here, maybe. So if I differentiate this, I'm not quite going to get this. I'm going to get minus 3 out the front. So to counteract that, I'm going to multiply by minus 1 third. Okay, so when I sub in 1, I'm going to get 0. When I sub in 0, I'm going to get 1. And the negative sign ensures that we have a positive answer. Okay, so you may look at that and go, well, hang on, Chris, I could have easily got that answer just by simple geometry, just by calculating the volume there. Yeah, you can. But that's not the point of this question. The point is to, first of all, get you drawing some nice pictures interpreting the region of integration and then finally just knocking the integral over. Questions? Who, who, who's Okay. Is that how you did it? Yeah? All right. Good. So that's a fairly basic one. The nice thing was that the integral was set up for us.